Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, Susil this side and this is continuation of Azure Data Factory tutorial. So today we are going to start with the until activity. So what is the until activity and where we can use it in the real time. So before going forward, if you haven't watched the previous videos of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch all those videos in a sequence. So for that, you can directly go in the browser and you can search for SS Unitech in the YouTube. And after that you can go here then go under the playlist and here you will see the playlist for the azure data factory so you can open that one and you can watch all those videos which are related to the azure data factory so let's get started with the today's videos so what is until activity so basically the until activity provides the same functionality that do until loop structure provide in the programming languages if you don't have the idea about the programming languages then don't worry you will see in this video so here we will be going to have a condition this loop will be executing until that condition will not reach so this is the until activity so it execute a set of activities in a loop until the condition associated with the activity evaluated to true so as i told you we will be having a variable and that variable value will be false by default and your loop will be executing until that variable value will not be true so for that we have to use the until activity you can also specify a timeout value for the until activity so for example your loop will be executing for one hour and if the value is not going to get true for that variable then your pipeline will be completed so we can set the timeout so what is our requirement so let's try to understand our requirement and where we can use this until activity in the real time so we want to load the data from the azure blob storage so this is the azure blob storage so here we have this employee.txt file so this employee.txt file is available right here so in your case that will not be there so this might be uploading at the source location for any specific period of time so before going to execute the copy data activity to load the data from this emp.txt file to the sql server table first we want to check whether this file is available there or not so this is the case if this file is not there and you want to execute the copy data activity then your pipeline will fail so this is the something validation we can check before going to process the data so here we can see the data so it has total four columns employee id name address and department and total three rows and we want to load this file into the sql server table so as of now we have this file but later we will be going to delete this file and we'll execute the pipeline so how we can use the until activity there so first we will be declaring a variable and by default the value of that variable will be false and in this until activity first we will be using the wait so we just want to wait for five minutes ten minutes as per your requirement you can set in my case i'll be going to set for 10 minutes so after that this pipeline will be paused for 10 minutes and will proceed further after 10 minutes inside the get metadata activity will be going to check whether the employee.txt file is there or not if that will be there then we have this if condition so if file is there then inside the if condition we have the true block and inside the true block will be going to set the variable which is for the until activity as true so this until activity will not be executed again so this is the condition for checking the file availability inside the azure blob storage now go to the browser and we'll try to implement this in practical so here let me try to add a new pipeline let me call this as demo until activity now here first as i told you we need to drag and drop the until activity so we can drag it here and in this until activity here we have to set so under the expression we can go and here we can set the value for the variable but first we have to declare a variable so go to the pipeline level 
and let me add a variable for the status and default value of this is false now inside this until activity go to the expression and we want to execute this loop until this status value will be true so for that we can use the bool like this and this so until this variable value will be true then your loop will be stopped otherwise this will be executing continuous now inside the activity what we need to do so under this first as i told you we have to use the wait so it will be waiting let me assume for 10 seconds in our case because we don't want to wait longer time after that we have to use the get metadata activity so we can drag and drop it here and let me try to connect with this wait and in this get metadata activity what we need to do go to the settings and we need to create a data set and that data set will be pointing for this employee file so let me try to go on the new and this is for the blob storage so we can select comma delimited file that is okay and here we need to select the link service so in the previous videos we have already created the link service for the get metadata so that will be pointing for that particular location for this input location now here we can see the file so we can go under this input and we need to select that file directly now that is okay we can click on okay so we have done with this get metadata activity next we need to check whether the file is there or not so for that we have to use the if condition and before if condition in this setting we can see the field list so we can click on new and under the argument we can check the exist so if file will be there then this exist value will be true otherwise this will be false so that will be under the field list now we can connect with the if condition under the if condition go to the activities and under the expression here we need to check the output of this get metadata so this is for the exist so we can also check this as true so we can set like bool of this so this will be true then under this true blob we need to use the set variable activity so this set variable activity will be going to set the value of this status variable as true only so that's it so what this until activity will do this until activity will be executing until your file will not be there under setting tab we can also set the timeout option so i am not going to set this in my case next we need to use the copy data activity so we can connect with this now we need to select the source and destination so as i have already created the source for this so let me going to use the same one in the sync i have already created the sync location as well so for saving the time so let me going to select that one now go to the mapping and import the scheme from there everything looks good so now we can execute and we'll check the output so let me try to debug it so this time file is there so this will be executing and will load the data at the first attempt so we can wait so as until activity is executing so we can check in the output section as well so wait acti activity is executing so it will be executing for 10 seconds so your pipeline will be paused so as we can see here the wait activity is completed after that get metadata activity let me check the output of this so exist seems true because file is there now we can go in the if condition so if condition will succeed then set variable inside the set variable this status value is going to set as true your until activity will be completed here then copy data activity and loading the data so this is like that now go to the azure blob storage and we'll try to delete this so this will be deleting the file in the blob storage now we don't have that file now let me try to debug it so this will be executing and this time file is not there so 
your get metadata activity exist will be false so we can check it here so here we can see now we can see the output so exist seems false so your until activity will be starting again and again so here we can see the if condition then wait activity is coming again so until is repeating here as well so this will be executing until your file will not be there let me try to upload the file quickly and try to upload it so file is uploaded now we can go here and we'll try to refresh it so get metadata activity is executing so again like if condition is there then wait so after this wait your file will be there so get metadata activity will find the file so the exist will be true so as we can see for this exist value is true in this case and no set variable will be true for the status and copy data activity is executing so this is executed successfully so i hope guys you have better understanding now we can check the table so this should have the data so as we can see six records because we have executed twice so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video